Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so I got a new project for you. Figured, you can see it in the background here, but I uh, figured I would give you a quick walk around here, let you know what's going on with the project. Yes, I added a new project on top of the Warrior under the blankets. I keep it nice and warm, but um, yeah, don't have that done, so I started a new project, why not? But uh, yeah, let's switch you around and show you what we got. So, this is the Kimco 2005, I believe. I'm gonna try to adjust here a little bit. I think that's all we got. All right, anyways. It's 2005 Kimco Mongoose 250. Background story is I bought this for my oldest son, who is 13 right now. Um, he sold uh, his TTR 90. We had a deal, worked out a deal. He worked uh, a bunch uh, for one summer, worked off half. We bought a TTR 90. He had that for a couple of years, um, kind of a flavor of the month thing. Decided he didn't want a dirt bike, so we sold it. And what we sold it for, we invested into this. Um, at the time, he didn't want to learn a clutch. I asked him, he said no. I really wish he would have, because I probably would have had a 125 Raptor at the time. Um, because back then, prices were normal, not crackhead prices like they are now. But regardless, so he wanted a uh, automatic, I did research, came across the Kimco, and the, it would be the DVX 250 Articat, um, identical machines outside of plastic, and uh, yeah, supposedly they were supposed to be really good machines, water-cooled 250 motor, um, CVT uh, belt-driven transmission, you know, so um, yeah. That's what we picked up. We found one just outside of Eau Claire. It was like a two and a half hour drive. Me and Brennan, my son, went out, picked it up one afternoon after work, um, two years ago or so. And yeah, we got like 60 hours or so, I would say. And I'm getting ready to uh, tear into it, re redo it and everything. And yeah, just kind of give you a quick walk around, show you a few things on this thing. Um, I guess maybe a review, kind of a review. Um, yeah. I guess up front, like I said, it's water-cooled. It's got a good size radiator for what it is. Power plant is a 250. I don't know if the actual um, CCs is correct. I'm sure it's probably not. It's probably like a 249 or a 247 or something goofy like that. A lot of times that's what they are. They're less than what they actually claim they just round up but anyways um it's a belt drive it is a two-piece frame um it is a round style carrier in the back it has a monstrous dual piston caliper um it does have a um, line from the foot brake and a line from the front left brake um it's got good size front single piston calipers um, like I said automatic so you just right here is the shift lever forward neutral reverse so pretty simple but uh, yeah this thing runs awesome I'm just stripping it down redoing it this is the wife's machine now I'm gonna be looking for a blaster project for my son um, you know that's down the road but uh for right now yeah i'm just gonna strip this down redo it kind of customize it to something better than what it looks like this thing is in really good shape i'm pretty sure it's low low hours the people we got it from was a older couple they bought it legitimately for their grandkids to ride around their horse farm they had a small lake farm i wouldn't say a ranch but i mean they they had horses they probably had like four horses five horses and i would say at least 20 acres or so 
and they bought this for grandkids when they came over just to kind of ride around in the pasture and i'm pretty sure that's all this thing ever did completely so i legitimately would be shocked that this thing has more than two or three hundred hours on this total i would be surprised if i wouldn't be surprised if it was way under that but regardless we picked it up on a good price had it for two years and now we're gonna give it some i guess attention first things i'm gonna do which is crazy the kimco it has built-in wire looms on everything right here look at this that's for a hose it's not for a wire that was for a hose for the radiator for the overflow um yeah it is super heavy i think they come in or they claim like 410 pounds or something like that i can see that it is all of that here's a bunch of parts the harness is huge um, i'm not going to bother trying to delete anything i don't do electrical like that so not worried about it um, it's a solid one piece front fender i'm going to try to find some dvx 250 fenders because they're like a single piece body and then the fenders bolt on kind of like the kawasaki does the um, kfx 450 but um yeah other than that here's a new project i will tell you this I guess as a review the Kimco mongoose is way overbuilt if you guys watch Mike Sabo's channel on his current projects with the Kawasaki Lakota I would compare this very closely to a Kawasaki Lakota because this is built legitimately almost like a utility frame but it's kind of set up as a sport quad it's i don't know it's a great learner's quad it's a great kids quad it's a great um quad for you know just sitting on the side if you have a a buddy or a friend that doesn't know or is in big into riding and you just want them to throw them on uh, a machine and show them what what's out there it it's a great option for that um yeah i guess i've walked around it probably 20 times now i'm rambling once again but we'll try to keep this under eight minutes um yeah 2005 kimco mongoose 250 as far as i know the 300 the kimco mongoose 300 and the 270 still retain the same exact frame looking on partzilla um at, at least between the 250 and the 300 they do i know for that for a fact um i'm gonna try to upgrade a few things for this to make it a little wider because the 250 is super narrow at least in the front um with the wheels on it i measured it it's legitimately 38 maybe 39 inches wide um outside of the tires to outside of the tires it's super narrow in the back with the the spacers um there are two inch spacers on the back on both sides i think it's at 44 maybe 45 or something like that if you have the tires the right way i guess or i should say the rims the correct way they come with um the kenda factory they come with the kenda claws and they are dual pattern mike sabo has put them on them on his machines and he's super excited and pushing those right now um i'm happy with them i know quite a few people that run them they're really happy with them so but uh as far as this machine yeah it's going to get stripped down, powder coated, and I 
only think I'll have to try to splice two videos because I think I just hit pause, but whatever. I really don't care. Um, yeah, I'm going to strip it down, powder coat it, replace the bearings, um, clean everything up. I'm going to change out the front shocks. I'm going to try to find maybe 300 uh, DVX 300 or Mongoose 300 A arms. I believe they are wider. I'll have to do a little more research because um, I don't think anything else really will fit aftermarket wise. Nobody makes anything obviously. But I'll look at that and I believe a DVX axle in the rear will widen the rear. Um, I said DVX. DVX 300 axle versus the 250 will right widen the rear i believe another two inches so we'll see i'm gonna try to find a different shock because legitimately the rear shock is almost like a uh, utility shock the spring on this thing is ridiculous yeah definitely gonna upgrade the bars i might put some spacers on here i don't think maybe i could find something an aftermarket stem that would work we'll see but anyways <clears throat> yeah there we go 2005 mongoose 250 the new project in the garage should be done here hopefully early spring because i want the wife to get out and ride this like I said, my son's going to be going to a, a blaster most likely. So this is going to end up with a wife. She's She likes riding, but she's not big into four-wheelers. But, um, yeah, give her something to cruise around, well, cruise around with. And, uh, yeah, like I said, anybody, friends, buddies, whatever. It's a great machine just to toss anybody on. I love actually riding this thing. It's, it's a riot. You just throw it and drive and go so yeah it's a good time anyways if you got questions let me know throw them down in the comments we'll try to flip it around real quick um yeah trying to get to 500 likes too or 500 likes geez louise see that's why i don't do this i'm um, trying to get to 500 subscribers i'm at like 496 right now and uh yeah help me out like subscribe share thanks